Hello beautiful Capricorn friends. We are here with an update, an energy reading for your relationship. For those who are in a couple, um, casually, formally, however it is, this is an energy update. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, so the overall energy is time to go. Okay, so you're, it's time to do something. So let's see what else we have Capricorn. We have Treasure Island. Ooh, I like that. Running towards a treasure. Okay. We have a changes in the wind. Okay. Underneath the changes in the wind, we have never ending story. Okay. So I like a changes in the wind for never ending story, right? All right. So let's go ahead and shuffle for our Capricorn friends. My name is Donna. Welcome. This is Irish Donna Tarot. And this is a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus reading. So let's see what we have here. <clears throat> All right. All right, Capricorn, the Tower card. So there was an epiphany. You had a Tower moment in the recent past. The Ace of Fire, a passionate new beginning though. Picking up the pieces, readily moving on it. Nine of water, great happiness. So a lot of times what happens when we get the tower, the tower is not always a bad card. Sometimes it just is like, surprise! Somebody has come forward and told you how much they love you. So take it as it resonates. A tower can mean that you need to build a foundation. It can also be especially true in a new relationship. The tower is there warning you. The four of water. So we have some sort of energy around the relationship that seems a little bit disconnected sort of a little bit of boredom we have the energy that i'm getting here is beautiful page of earth energy making commitments making plans for the future a lot of love queen of water Four of air, though, we're in this sort of healing mode. It looks like you had some sort of argument, disagreement, something that said maybe even when you were laughing and having a good time. The two of you really love each other, though, okay? And you have, a, I would say, with that strength card, you have a very strong relationship, Capricorn. So let's see. We have you moving along. Here's six of air, moving away from any anything, any negative energy. Definitely moving away from it. The nine of fire. You both have fire in your belly. Strength card. That's incredible energy, courage, and strength, and tenacity. There's a lot of fire here. We have... The Page of Swords, a messenger of air energy, just really speaks to the fact that you're being very blunt with each other very communicative watching each other spying on each other keeping tabs on each other but i think the eight of fire eight of wands a lot of communication i see this is a very successful time it does look like you may have come back together after a bit of a rift or a misunderstanding an argument let's look at your outcome cards for the week let's see we have or it's a timeless reading so if it's yours, it resonates. The Eight of Earth, nice energy. Working on the relationship, making commitments. Oh my word, Capricorn. You have two Virgo cards here. We have the Ten of Earth. You may be making plans. You may be making plans to marry and to possibly move. If you're in partnership, it looks like with the Tower card, one of you may have also had a job situation in which there's a great opportunity to move forward. The Six of Fire, victory, promotion, happiness, joy, winner, winner, chicken dinner. It speaks very strongly to being in a beautiful part of your relationship, a beautiful time in your relationship. <clears throat> there have been some bumps and bruises along the way emotionally, but I'm seeing you, the two of you as very powerful energy. Let's look and see what this tower card is about. What was the tower card about? Ah, Queen of Cups energy. Somebody was very emotional. We have Queen of Water here also. So somebody was very emotional. It looks like there was a feeling of not being really supported in the relationship. The Four of Pentacles, though, speaks very highly. That's your Capricorn energy. That's you creating that beautiful foundation in the relationship. 
Tell us why the Four of Water was here, please. Four of Water was here. Okay, King of Pentacles. <clears throat> so sometimes there's too much focus on work is what I get. Well, with the earth signs, that's normal. <clears throat> Let's see what happened here with the Four of Air. There's a little bit of healing. Sometimes people just get a cold or get sick, and it's as simple as that. But in terms of this relationship, Seven of Pentacles, okay. It just looked like somebody needed some rest from work. Maybe somebody took a mental health day off, but I see the relationship is very strong. The Six of Air moving into calm waters to a happier place. Seven of Wands, you're both feeling... You're, I think you're having a debate about some life choices that you're going to make. Somebody wants to move quickly. Somebody likes, you know, a lot of action in this relationship. But we do get the Queen of Pentacles that settles things into something very stable. Capricorn, there you are in your relationship reading. The way I'm reading this relationship is it looks like there's been some bumps in the road, some bruised and bumped feelings, but it looks like a powerful, strong relationship in which you're moving forward into a beautiful future. I feel as though the two of you are leaving behind somebody's bad job or, you know, somebody's just something that seems to be external to the relationship that has caused a lot of issues in the relationship. That's how I see your relationship today, Capricorn. Thank you so much for your time. Take care and talk to you soon, hopefully. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment.